I like to eat. Sorry about that. <laughs> Eating is without a doubt my favorite of the survival-based activities. <laughs> like I'll breathe, but I don't enjoy it. <laughs> I don't like the way it feels. A deep breath. Everyone's always pushing a deep breath in tough times. They're the worst. I find hunger very attractive in a man. Yes, this is the moment where I reveal that I'm a heterosexual. And I'm not proud of it. No, it's nothing to be proud of in this day and age. It's an embarrassment to lust after the common shaft. It's like, does she read? <laughs> but I do find that hunger attractive in a man. That's why I like to see how he treats his buffalo wings. <laughs> I think it's very telling. I think it's a great way to feel someone out. Because I, I, I gotta say, if a man's throwing bones into that bones pile and they still have flesh on them, I'm not impressed. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm throwing real bones in there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm throwing true bones in there. They are, they are clean and dry and ready to be a pirate wench's earring. <laughs> They're ready for the bones pile, okay? He's, he's throwing flesh lollipops in there. <laughs> it kind of makes me wonder, you know, are you gonna leave the meat on me too? <laughs> Later? <laughs> are you someone who's afraid to get into the corners <laughs> where the flavor's at? When you feel cartilage, do you turn the other way and run, boy? Or do you lean in for something chewy? And please, you know, go for it. You know what I'm saying? If I'm gonna disgrace myself and have sex before marriage, please use all parts of the buffalo. Oh, don't use me, he used me. No, please use me for once, you know what I mean? I lost my virginity in high school to use the common parlance. <laughs> I had no hesitation about it because my virginity, it just didn't have any worth to me because I hadn't earned it. <laughs> I got it just for showing up on earth. <laughs> so when the question arose of whether or not to lose it, I kind of felt like I was playing with the house's money. I was like, I got this virginity. I hear it's a ton of fun to lose, you know? <laughs> Maybe tonight's tonight. Who wants to help me lose it? <laughs> My sister was like, don't do it. She was like, if you do it so young, you'll regret it. You'll feel sick and sad looking back on that memory. I was like, no way. My boyfriend is a very sweet boy. You know, we, we care about each other. This is good American fun. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, I am disgusted. Those memories devastate me. I have to walk around with memories of sex with a 16-year-old boy. <laughs> Imagine if you had sex with a 16-year-old boy tonight. <laughs> It'd be the darkest night of your life. <laughs> It's disgusting. His skin was so smooth. He was a real tulip of a boy. <laughs> I felt like I was deflowered by another flower. <laughs> we were just two flowers in a poor man's bouquet, swaying in the breeze of his parents' basement air conditioner. It's disgusting, me pressed up against his, his soft young flesh, <laughs> up against his sweaty belly which was full of pasta his mother had snuck vegetables into <laughs> earlier that night. <laughs> Horrifying. Now, if you're gonna lose your virginity, you know, find a man, find an older man, you know, do what your parents would think is, is horrifying, because at least you can look back on that as sex with a man. <laughs> That's a memory you can stand behind. <laughs> I remember feeling like, you know, like his dad was probably like, kind of like proud that his son was doing this. You know what I mean? Like he knew, the father knew. 
like that his son had like taken my virginity. And I just really felt like saying to him, nah, like I'm him. <laughs> and that's how that's going down.